Hi, my name is Teresa Kovalek, and the other day I was working on these little tiny paintings. These here are going to be made into uh, earrings, and I painted these with the alcohol inks, but I thought I'd show you how, um, how to paint a palm tree today. But we'll go ahead and go a little bit bigger. Our painting is going to be done on this scrap piece of Yupo. This is actually um, cut kind of off. Uh, it, it wasn't cut properly, no big deal. But I'm going to be using this picture frame here to put it in, and it's a 4 by 4 So I know on my painting when I do it that I'm just going to stay more in the center. So let's go ahead and slide these off to the side. And... We will go ahead and get started. So what I am using is these little trays. And these are ceramic trays that I keep my inks in. And what's nice about these is I have them labeled on the back. And I have a little color chart so I know when I want to refill it what color I have in what little slot. So let me set that aside. And let's get started. I am using the 99% alcohol. I buy it in a container like this. You can usually find it in your pharmacy department. And we're just going to give a, a little squeeze of that on. Not a lot, lot, because I do have some in my little uh, glass bowl that we'll be using. And... We'll go ahead and give it a nice sunset. And I will leave a list of the colors in the description box below. So I just work out of my paint tray. And sometimes I squeeze it on, you know, it just depends on the painting that I'm doing. And pick up a little color here. And when I paint, I paint really loosely. I let the ink work for me. So we'll make that the horizon line right there. We'll go ahead and go back to the sky and put just a touch of yellow in. And put that about right here. My page is still wet. And we'll go ahead and finish off the bottom. Going with the ocean look because we want to put in our palm trees. Make sure you don't get too much ink on your brush. You always can add more. So remember my frame is a 4x4 four four that I'm using so I am going to take that into consideration when I'm painting this. And because I am painting on a wet surface, I keep an eye on my um, areas and I can always go back and add a little color or a little alcohol. But I just kind of keep an eye on it because it is still wet and you know with the inks when they are wet they can have a mind of their own and I'm just gonna pop out this piece on my frame and I'm gonna show you so that's what I'm looking for that four by four so that's a, another good way of looking at your painting. 
and I, I kind of like that I like to loosen up that orange a little bit though even though I am going to be adding my palm trees with the little island back here it's just a little too much orange for me so I'm just dipping into the alcohol cleaning off my brush drying it down some coming back pulling out a little bit of that color and if you like it thicker that's fine you can keep that like that that's pretty good and on my little island because the sun's going down I'm going to use the black the pitch black and I keep mine in a separate little container away from all my other inks we're just gonna put it right in here but there's a little island out there and maybe we could attach it to the side maybe a little bit if it's coming in from this direction And now we're going to do that palm tree. And on the palm tree, I am going to use that black also. You got to remember the sun is setting behind it, so it'd be more of a shadow. And we're just going to take and just kind of bring it. See, the little brush still wants to be a big brush. I'm just kind of, kind of bring it out there. And now we'll go ahead and put some leaves on him. And he's got those big old palms. it doesn't have to be perfect palm trees are usually kind of shaggy looking kind of have their own thing going on I just take it one at a time and I'm going to turn my painting don't be afraid to turn your painting if it's a lot of times a lot easier for your hand to work the same direction that you need to and so just turn your painting We'll go ahead and go with maybe a wild branch going up another one and we'll do one up here too
it's kind of a nice little palm tree and we'll darken in this a little bit right here not doing the whole not doing the whole thing because we do want the different colors for contrast and it's kind of abruptly stops here so debate what I want to do with this if I want to bring it over maybe a little bit more just bring a little color into it All I'm doing is putting a little alcohol on my brush and just kind of bringing it in and it adds a little contrast to the colors. And I think we should have a happy starfish in there. So get some orange. And Maybe put him like he's coming out of the water, about right here, and just kind of do his legs, or his body, his legs are actually underneath. And maybe we should give him a friend. Maybe a, another one about right here. Another thing I like to put on my paintings is sometimes I like to put a little bottle. Like we have a little message in a bottle. So maybe we can have one in there too. And I do it with the black. I want just very little on. We're going to have it like it just rolled out of the water here or coming up. And we'll put a little brown cork on them. And a lot of times in my bottle, I like to write a little message. I'm going to clean that down just a little bit. I'm actually going to do a little green. There we go. And what else would we like on this painting? Maybe a little more of those waves coming in. To find the water a little bit more maybe. It's up to you, it's your painting. This one here is done nice and lightly, it's almost more like a watercolor. If you want brighter colors, you can do that too. 
So I'm just kind of coming back in with a little bit of that. So I'm just kind of coming back in with a little bit of that alcohol. And I think we should add a couple of birds in there. Birds always help liven up the painting too. And we'll grab a little black here. And turn this a little. Make sure I don't have too much black on my brush. brush is not being cooperative today. So I'm going to go back in, pick up some more of that black ink. Wipe a little off. There we go. I'll give him a friend too. Make his friend a little bigger. And then We'll go ahead and put a little shadow in for that bottle. Grab a little bit of that brown, which is sandy color. It's like our little bottle has a shadow there and we're going to put a little shadow even though our starfish are close to the ground they still have a little shadow Take your time with your painting. Don't be in a rush. Let the ink work for you. I really think that's some of the biggest tips. And if you don't like it, start over and try it again. You also have to remember with the ink that a little tiny bit goes a long way. So that kind of looks like a shadow. And let's go ahead and put our little message in the bottle. And I usually put love. So that one just barely fit, but good enough. And just kind of come back in on this a little bit. Just add a little contrast there. Well, I think I like it. We could add a few more palms to our palm tree if we want it. Let's see. I think it's a cute little painting. What do you think? I'd love to hear comments, questions down below, and I will get to them. I'm going to give this a quick blow and uh, dry it down real quick so we can put it in the frame and you can see what it looks like. Okay. 
we'll go ahead and sign it. And when I sign a painting, I don't want it to totally jump out to be the main focus. I want it just kind of hidden into the painting. So it's up to you how you want to do yours. And I like it. So let me go ahead and put this on here. Just gonna center it up a little and give a quick little stick of tape so I can show you what it looks like in the frame. So, put that on. And put another piece down here. And let's see what this looks like. There we go. We painted a painting. Now the only thing I am going to do is I'll pull it back out after I'm off the, um, after the camera's off. And I'll give it a quick spray. Um, I give it a varnish spray and then a UV protector. I do that on all my work. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful and maybe gave you a little information. And thanks for joining me. I am on Facebook and Instagram under my name, Teresa Kovlak. If you enjoyed this video, please show your love by hitting the like button and subscribing. That lets me know that you'd like to see more of my videos, and I can do that for you. Thanks again for joining me. Have a great rest of your day, and happy painting.